Hey everybody, and welcome back to Jetpack. We are still on level 63, checkers. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about this level. It is kind of a pain. But I'm going to try to see if we can come up with a route, because I think that's kind of where our main issue is. We don't really have a route in place that's that great. And if we can come up with something like that, that would really help a lot. So, I'm going to see if what we can do about this. Uh, okay, there we go. I'm trying to get some of these tricky monster ones first, like the Flitzer one. And I guess there's another Flitzer one technically over there. And I really need to get fuel, which is not looking too good right now. But tell you what, why don't we just go up here for now and just take this route. Okay, this is this could be bad. I just need to get over there, that's the thing. I just need to get over there. Yeah, I don't know. Man. Uh, well, I guess we have no choice but to try to go to, for that other fuel cell over there. Although, I don't think we can now. No, I, I just completely ruined this, didn't I? Okay. Okay, let's just die there. Alright, sorry guys. I'm apparently not quite with it tonight, but I'm going to try to be, because I really need to be on my toes for this level. Perhaps the better idea is to go for the right side first. I think that's probably the smarter thing. Because um, if we go for the left side first, I mean, we're already visiting a place that we're going to need to go to on the way to the exits, which is not really smart routing, so maybe we need to do this, this path first. Let's just do the... Come on, Flitzer, really? I had that. Yeah, I'm guessing we're going to be here for a while. This level is very unforgiving. I, I don't know what it is. I think it's just the fuel limitation and this monster. Come on. Ugh, that was risky, but thankfully we didn't die. It's the fuel limitation plus the monster dodging of it. It's just so strict. Oh, sweet. We trapped the bat bot. Thank goodness. Okay. So with the bat bot trapped, I'm going to try to go for... Well, wait a minute. Let's... No, no, no. I want to do this. Oh, really? <clears throat> Game over. Yeah, we're going to be here for a while, guys. I hate to say it, but we're going to be here for a while. So, yesterday I kind of received a piece of sad news. Uh, my best friend is moving away. Yeah. Really sad. I... He's been my best friend for about 10 years now. Um, he's currently actually lives away from me right now, but it's only a couple hours, which is not that bad. But now he's moving out of state, which is kind of a bummer. But who knows, maybe one day, you know, I'll be there with him. You never know. I've actually, uh, I've actually come to think of it, I, um, in the past I looked for a job where he is right now, which is kind of funny. So, I don't know, maybe I'll try that again. Although, I gotta admit, I really do like my job right now, so I, I definitely want to keep that, <laughs> at, least until I, at least until I get something else. Alright. There we go. Okay, that was a little bit better. But now, to get that, I hate these spikes. They're just so annoying. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, Spike, you can stay in there. Alright, so now... Okay, what's our next move going to be? I think... Let's try this. Okay, that worked. Risky, but it worked. Which is pretty much all I can ask for at this point. Okay, so now I need to take care of the entire left side now with just this fuel I've got with me. I know there's a stunner there, but I don't know what good that would do at this point, honestly, because there's not really much except the flitzer that would be troublesome. Okay, so I can kind of just go downhill, so to speak, with respect to fuel. Until at least here. There we go. Alright, and now it's just a matter of doing this. 
Okay, don't, I don't want to risk this because this is so important since we've made it this far. Whoa, I almost stepped right into him. Oh, man. Okay, I'm definitely saving here. Ever ready. Game saved. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. This is a fun level. I do remember this one as being really fun. At least I, if it's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, this is the one with all the, the golden walls, so... Generally, all the levels with golden walls tend to be pretty fun. I, I've been noticing that. Like, I, I don't mind all the golden wall levels. They're, they're a blast. Okay, so now we got this track bot here, and... Oh, we don't have any fuel. That could put a damper on things. Okay, so I think the, the whole point of this level is that you got to be ready for whatever happens, hence the title. And I'm not going to lie, what I think of whenever I hear the title of this level is the brand uh, Ever Ready, which made a flashlight I had as a kid. Oh, we can get fuel here, which is good. Although I guess you have to be prepared for the track bot to get you if you stay here too long. Alright, so this will help us out a bit. Not that we really need it, technically, but at least it's something. Okay, you guys stay there. No, 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 no. There we go. Alright, so now we can deactivate this guy. Whoa. Careful there. And then we can deactivate this dude. There we go. This is a really fun one. Oh, I thought he was going to slip right off. I... Hmm... For some reason, I thought he was just going to go right to the left and... Right to the left. That just sounds funny. Right to the left and just, uh... Whoa. Oh, come on. That's just cheap. I thought he was... Uh, I keep getting confused as to which direction the track bot's going to go. If he's going to go all the way up or if he's going to drop. I guess they go all the way on their current path and then drop, but... I mean, sometimes they turn, which is what makes it so confusing. So, I don't know. It, track bot movement is really strange. I, I don't know quite how it's determined. I could just, you know, float here, because I can still recharge the fuel tank while using the jetpack, just not as fast. Okay, yeah, see, they're continuing to go on their path, so I guess that's how they work. They go on the path as long as there's nothing obstructing it, and if there's a fork in the road, then they can choose. Otherwise, they'll just keep going up the ladder or down the, you know, the golden walkway or whatever. Okay, so at this point, I need to go over this way, like this. Okay, this is way faster than what I was doing earlier. That's good. Alright, so now, deactivate this dude. We go over up here. Okay, I think at this point, I'm going to go ahead and drop down in here and take care of the rest of the stuff. Whoa. Let's get some fuel while we wait there. See, I'm always worried that they're going to drop down, but I guess they just keep going, so that's good. I just kind of get paranoid about it, that's my problem. I get way too paranoid about everything. But we got a stunner. Yay, stunners. Okay, so at this point we should be done. Alright, so what have we got next? Ertemies. I don't know what those are, but I guess they're those little squiggly things. And we've got little options that we can use here. We can go to four different rooms, each with its own monsters to face. This one is the pair of spikes. And let's see here. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was close. I do appreciate that you don't go to the yellow one until the last one, since that's the one that leads to the fuel canisters there. That's a nice touch. I mean, it's kind of expected, I guess, that you do these in the order that you approach the teleports, which I kind of appreciate that. But yeah, this is a pretty fun level. I, 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 part of me kind of wants to make a Chips Challenge level based on this design. It looks really cool. I mean, I've already done Whirlpool, so why not this? Besides, the title just sounds kind of awesome. I don't know what that means, but... Ertemis, that just sounds... that sounds neat. Oh, and we can just go through without phasing. That's nice. Always a nice touch when things are easier than what you expect. Alright, so at this point, it's just a matter of dropping down, and then just doing this. Okay. 
Simple as pie. And we get to stun the enemies for the final trip to the exit. Okay, we are done with Ertemis. Don't touch any knobs, period. You know it's serious when there's a period involved. So we're not supposed to touch, I'm assuming those are the floor switches when they talk about knobs. Unless the normal barrier switches that aren't on the ground also count, but I guess we'll see. I'll just wait here until the blue switches hit again. I suppose this is a good idea because we can see where the missile goes pathwise, so that's nice. So yeah, we get to watch the missile fly around. Yay! So, um, a funny story about a level that I made as a kid in this game. Um, there was a, uh, we, we, we got a rock glider for the first time as a, when I was a kid, when I was about 12, when I first played this game. And at that point in time in my life, I had never heard the term rock glider before. And I thought it sounded awesome. So I actually created a level called rock glider in this game. And it looked like a bunch of missiles in the shape of kind of a glider from Chip's Challenge. Yeah, it was really silly, but it was kind of fun, though. I, I liked the idea. It was, it was kind of cool from a certain point of view, I guess. Uh, there we go. I don't know why I wasn't flying. There we go. That's what I needed. Okay, so I, I just want to make sure I memorize where all the barriers are just so I don't get squashed. The good news is, is that there's none here in the green area, which is kind of a welcome relief just because I don't have to worry about getting clobbered by anything, but there could be more elsewhere. Okay, I got to get that one last chip over there. Okay, I'm just going to refuel on fuel. And I don't believe there's any knobs over here, so I'm just going to go ahead and get this. Or, not knobs, but uh, barriers. That's what I'm trying to say. Barriers. You guys know what I mean. So yeah, I, I don't really think this level is that hard. I mean, it's not really that hard compared to, say, uh... Um, watch the ball, I think was what the level was, or watch out for the barriers. I think there are two levels called watch the ball and watch out for the barriers, and they both had this gimmick of a monster controlling stuff, and you have to be careful. Whereas this one, I feel like this is easier. The, maybe the challenge is just making sure you don't mess up the, gli the, not the glider, the missile's path or something? I don't know. Okay, so the missile should be able to hit that... Uh, turquoise one without any problem, right? Hopefully. Yay! Alright. Don't touch any knobs. We did not. Deplane! Deplane! Oh, man. I want to make a Chips Challenge level based on this. Check this out. Look at this plane. It looks fun. Well, it looks fun except for all the trackbots hiding in there. But other than that... Okay. So what's the best course of action here? I need to make sure I know what I'm doing first. Um, yeah, I think the best thing to do would probably be to make sure that all the track bots have fallen down to the bottom. Of course, there's the golden teleport down there, but it's at least a mite better than having them out here. But it might be tricky to conserve fuel. No, we, we got one more fuel there. No! Oh, really? Okay. Whoa. I thought I was pressing the fuel button, but apparently not. Okay, so now the track bots are just going to be kind of roaming around there. No! Oh, I forgot to do that. Right. Duh. Okay. Wow. This is going to be tough. I uh, I want to get to that stunner so bad. Maybe I should just try risking my life for that instead. That might be the better option, because at least then I'll have some time to get everything else. Oh, come on. I'm just worried about falling down in there, and I want to make sure... Oh, wow, I got it. Whew. Okay, run, 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 run. 
Perfect. All right, we got it. Oh, wait, there's a hole right there. Nice. Okay, so at this point, I just want to get that extra life there so we can... Whoa! We can get our life count back to normal. As in, like, not zero. Okay, do I go up here? Yes, okay, go up there. Alright, so at this point, it's just a matter of... Oh, I fell down. Okay. I just want to go up the safe route. I'm not going to take any unnecessary risks. I'm going to go the safe route. There we go. Perfect. We survived Dead Plane. And here we go round. Let's do this level. So this is a level, I, I like this one. This is one where monsters just kind of go on cycles like this and you just have to be sure to watch out for them. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I like it. Let's see here. I'm going to go down this way first. Hopefully this is a good idea. Well, oh, I thought that track bob was going to go up, not left. Alright, let's try it again. Um, wait, can I get to that from down there? Nope! Oh, I didn't even see that. What was I doing? Oh well, okay. At least, I think we saved our game, right? Believe me, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a lot more spots on that scoreboard by the time this is all over. Okay. Let's try to get some of these lives back. I, I just want another treasure level. That would be amazing right now. We, we're one level away from another treasure level. <sighs> Why did I do that? Like It was like one of those moments when I felt really hesitant. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to go for it. But then I'm like, no, 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 I can go for it. Adrenaline rush. Go, 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 go. And I died. You know, It's just one of those weird split decision kind of things where you just do the worst possible choice. You know, it's just... I keep saying you know all the time. I shouldn't be doing that. But you, you know what I'm talking about. When I say you know. Really steel ball. Really? We're, we're going to play that game? Fine, fine, fine. Alright. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That's probably going to be the title of this episode. At least I'll say this, though. We, we got past checkers. That is a humongous relief. And we... I'm just sliding around on the ice for fun. Okay, so at this point... Um, oh, wait a minute. Do I really need to go down? No, I don't need to do that. Okay, hang on a sec. Okay, you go down there. Get yourself stuck. Although, wait, is that bad for the exit? Uh-oh. That could be... Uh oh, that could be terrible. Yeah, he's going to be trapped down there now, which means that we're going to have to time our exit move just right. Ugh, that's not good. Spike, don't... Okay, good. And say, you tried doing something funny there. Uncle JB is not going to be happy. Uncle JB, that just sounds creepy. Okay. Don't worry, guys. Once I have, you know, nieces and nephews, I'm going to try not to be a creepy uncle. Alright, so now we can travel back to the future. Or to the exit. Nope! Whoa! Whoa, 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 Oh! Wow, 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 wow. Oh, man, guys. That was too close. Okay. Trackbot down to at the exit. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Come on, Spike. Come back here. Come on, Spike. I can't remember, like, if you can die on an exit. Like, if, if the exit just kind of makes you invincible, or if you actually do die. I hope it makes you invincible, or at least it's possible to revive yourself or something if you fall. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Yes! Yes! All right, treasure chest. Oh, yeah. Hey, I saved. I. Oh, well. At least we'll get enough treasure to justify. You know, I'm going to probably play this level a lot. Uh, I may die a few times on purpose just because I want to get a lot of lives. 
And the reason for this is because the level after this is the infamous ninth level in the demo. Oops. Well, there we go. I already died, but at least we can save the game. There we go. That time it worked. Don't know why it didn't before, but hey, at least we got lots of fuel. We got lots of treasure. I mean, this is a great level. We I feel like we've this has been a long time coming. We we need we've needed this. All right, let's go ahead and get all the gems. Leave no gem untouched. Just keep going. Just collecting everything in our path. Like that. Whoa, okay. All right, I need to start deactivating barriers here. Come on, guys. We're Okay, they're in there. They're in the area where fuel is stolen. Oh, come on, Flitzer. Okay. Well, there again, the, the save game thing didn't work. I don't know why it just kind of works on and off. Like, even as a kid, it did that. You know, I bet the better option would just be to go ahead and go for all the barrier switches now. At the very least, if I do it that way, then I can at least waste all my fuel at the beginning, and then I can go and get all the fuel canisters. Huh? Huh? Alright. Let's, let's give it a try. At least now we're safe. We don't have to worry about flitzing issues. We can just get all these gold vases. Oh, look at all these gold vases. We can get so many extra lives and farm for stuff here. Okay, so maybe we can only get two lives, but still. Okay, Flitzer, you're kind of cramping my style here, buddy. Come on. There we go. Okay. Kind of the only problem with this level is the flitzing action. Oh, we also got an extra life over there, too, so that might make three. Come on, Trackbot. Come up here. Stop doing your zigzag routine. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Now you can't go anywhere. Yeah, more extra lives. Yeah, all right. Okay. All right, so we've gotten everything. I think we're just going to go ahead and solve the level now. We've gotten four lives. I think we're pretty good to go. Famous last words, right? All right. Wow, I nearly escaped death there at the end with that flitzer. Work those leg muscles. This is it, guys. This is the level that caused me untold amounts of pain as a kid. And we will take it on in the next video. So until then, guys, thank you all so much for watching. It has been a blast as always, and I hope you enjoyed these levels. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, and I will catch you on the flip side in the next video. So until then, take care, and I will see you next time.